There are so many different types of non-dairy milk these days, but there's one that everyone seems to agree on, and that's oat milk. It still has that creamy texture that milk has when you pour it in your coffee, and people with nut allergies can enjoy oat milk too. The only problem is that a lot of commercial oat milks that you find in the grocery store tend to have a lot of additives because they're overly processed. And the only way to really avoid that is to make oat milk at home, which is what we're going to do today. It's important to buy old-fashioned rolled oats. You want to make sure that it's certified organic because a lot of packaged oats tend to be cross-contaminated with other grains like wheat or barley. I recommend using a nut milk bag, but if you don't feel like buying anything, I've heard that you can use the end of your nylons and it really does the job. Also, you need your mason jar. Like I always say, I freaking love these. Your blender and you need a bowl. So you want one cup of rolled oats, and you want four cups of ice cold water. I might throw in a couple of ice cubes just to make sure it's really cold. Using cold water is part of what's going to keep it from becoming slimy. Like if you just picture how when you make oatmeal and you heat it up, it becomes slimy. Today we're going to add a couple tablespoons of maple syrup, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you're anything like me and you like a little bit of sweet and savory action, add a little bit of salt. And here's another tip. Don't over blend it. It's a motor, so it makes it hot. So blend for 20 to 30 seconds. I'm going to pour this into my nut milk bag. You can see that there's a lot of pulp already. So you want to milk it, but you don't want to squeeze too hard. So because this nut milk bag is so tightly knit, it really captures all of the pulp. But if you'd like, you could strain it twice. Okay, you can see like the sliminess starting to come out. We don't want that. There are actually a lot of different things you can use the pulp for, one of which is oatmeal cookies. Mmm, really good. One last thing, just remember that every time you go back to use your oat milk that you stored in the refrigerator, remember to shake it. It's been a hot few days. Ice cold glass of homemade oat milk is where it's at. You wanna try it? <laughs> Not mine anymore. <laughs>